Right, Dave here again. <clears throat> As you can see, I've lit the fire. Now that temperature up there is off of a thermal couple, <clears throat> reading 425, <clears throat> 30. <clears throat> so that gives you some sort of idea of what it pokes out. We'll just take a little reading on this one. <clears throat> yeah, so this is the hand one. Um, 438. So there's a difference between the two. So it shows you how inaccurate they are. The thermal couple one's probably more accurate. <clears throat> so these are centigrade temperatures as I was asked for. So, so there we are. That's what you're getting. Oh, can I get it to go? There we are. Oh, I'll get it, get it better in a minute. Right. Put it out there. There we are. 432. And we've got up there 418. So 415 now. It jumps about. But <clears throat> that's near enough what we've got temperature wise. And the. Uh, we'll go for the temperature on the radiator for you as well where we're about it in centigrade uh, so we have got there we are 68 68 on the on the radiator that's the rad temperature it's blooming hot I tell you, you wouldn't want to put your hand on that and um, so there we are we're up and running and um, now that takes queer care of the queries I had I'll just shut the front door. That is so hot, it's unreal. That should drop down to about 300. About 300. Right. Now, I was asked, oh, that was the other thing I was asked about. We'll just drop down to the front of the fire. Uh, how much material drops in the front? As you can see, there is a little bit that drops into the uh, the, tr the second burn chamber because there's two burn chambers and then there's six mil slots in the second burn chamber if you haven't seen it before um, so that's that that takes care of that the other question I had was on the uh, heat exchanger and why didn't I put it in the second tube coming down and the reason for that is there's not enough room and performance wise um, I want a bit more heat on the heat exchanger uh, the heat on the second part is reduced by about 10 degrees it's, it was, it's more than you think right there's the red dot centigrade on that hip riser is 116 and on this one, see it's only 147, 147, 48, that's, that's what it on the second riser, but I wanted more control, so I can turn the fire down, like I have now, there's only a little gap at the bottom there, and that makes a huge difference to the riser at the back, as it drops down in temperature. It still hasn't got there yet, it will do. It's dropping down. See, look, it's dropped down to 405, 445. And then the other question I had that uh, was this week was on the centers of, of the tubes in the back. So that's what it is. It's half inch pipe, and the center is 50.8 both ways so it's centered up centers across so that is two and nine thirty seconds uh, in inches for you so that should have solved all your questions so there we are two and nine thirty tooths or thirty seconds and that is fifty point eight centers in a square so that's that's what you need to know if you're doing that so you already have 
the bit of half inch pipe. So you can actually measure the outside of the half inch pipe, I'm sure. If you're going to drill it, you'll be quite capable of doing that. What you've got to remember is when you're drilling for the for the pipe, half inch pipe, the half inch pipe is not round, it's a, it's a little bit oval, unfortunately, that's how they are. But I drilled, uh, what did I drill? I drilled a 22 millimeter hole. So that uh, make it easy for you. So those holes there are 22 millimeter. Uh, that gives you just enough clearance to get it through and you need to make sure they're in line. Um, so what I did is I drilled through and threw straight through the other side because I've got a drill bit will actually do that. Um, I don't know, that, that's the way I've did it. So you'll have to work out how you're going to do it. <coughs> you could drill them from both sides if you uh, very carefully mark them out. You might need a vernier to mark them out with. but. Uh, otherwise they're not going to line up. But that's what it is, it's in a square so it's it makes it easy for you. Right, see, front shut down now, and it's dropping down the temperature, look. 399, it's coming down. And that's, that's a comfortable temperature it's going to drop down to, to work at, for me. But, uh, and I'll tell you now, you cannot touch them radiators. Um, it will take a lot more rads than what I've got on there. That's just for demonstration purposes. And to show you how hot the water, I don't know if you won't be able to see it, but the water in the F&E tank, cold feed and expansion, is steaming because there's not enough radiators on the system. And the temperature on there, I'll tell you now, you'll be a bit surprised. In centigrade is, oh, yeah, 46. Yeah, it's just focused. That's on the F&E tank and that should be cold. So it shows you much water it's chucking back in the top there to get rid of it. So it's all running quite nicely, really. But uh, you can't, I, I can't show you the steam coming off the top of the <laughs> cold feed expansion tank. But believe me, if there is steam coming off um, and those rads are exceptionally hot, um, yeah. Even with it turned down now, and I've turned turned the turned the boiler down, and it's dropping down in temperature. Yeah, it's still still 70, 70 on the rad there. Just about see that. So that's about all I can tell you really. But that was the reason for putting the uh, heat exchanger in the first riser. In actual fact, also the other reason was between the flue and the second riser, there's not enough room to put the, the pipe fittings in because the gap is too small. And the re reason I made that gap small is so that I can make it easy to clean out. I don't want a big piece away from the chimney to the riser because what happens is it cuts down the performance. It doesn't actually work as quite as good. I've tried a longer one further away and it's not very good. But having it tight in with a 50 mil gap, just under 50 years, um, that really does perform well. It, and I've given you dimensions on the other ones. And as you can see, the temperature is now dropping down. It will go down about 350, but uh, you can see that's and that's running comfortable I tell you that is so hot and this is the first opportunity I've had to light it uh, <laughs> in this part of the year because it's been too hot here we've had 30 degrees in the shade but today it's not that temperature of it there we are oh I can't see it right but there we are it's there is a difference between the two gauges and you're going to get that because of the components in the gauges. But that's a thermal couple so that should 
read much more accurate and that is in centigrade temperatures so I hope that's helped you all out you can see what's going on um, this is Dave signing off don't forget the bits at the bottom thumbs up thumbs down uh, subscribe and don't forget to click that old bell on the side there if you want more updates later on in the in the winter time there will be some more updates I've got a another fire which I'm gonna manufacture but I haven't sorted that out yet um, and I will get round to um, doing the other bits and pieces I'm gonna do but uh, don't forget click the bell on the side this is Dave signing off we'll catch you all on the flip side bye bye whoosh we're gone